Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Music Shack podcast. And we are back. We are. We've been to the Eras, and we're hyped. And we're. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. <laughs> I was just saying before we started. I'm quite nervous that like it, it feels so strange. It's not even been that long, but it feels like it's been longer than it has. But we're back with another exciting first time listen, and um, I'm going to take the power yeah. here of speaking, even though. I don't have any power and give it to me. <laughs> yeah, you're going to give me the talking stick. No, <laughs> I was just going to say, like, I hope you guys enjoyed the last two vlogs. Like, we weren't able to record because obviously we were busy, as you saw in the vlogs. And if you didn't see the vlogs, you should go watch them because they're entertaining. Um, I watched, I did, had no idea about what Jack did in Dublin other than <laughs> what he texted me. So I watched his whole vlog with much intent and I was like <laughs> amazed. It was great. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't that. No, it was great. Um, it was our first time vlogging as well. So please let us know if you have any feedback because I think when we go to Eris again in August, we're going to try to vlog again. So if you have any feedback or like any suggestions on that, we would absolutely love to hear it. But yeah, we've had a busy few weeks with Eras, but we're back and we're better than ever. We're going to be doing some fun things over the next couple of weeks. The first is just like breakdown of a new artist that I'm going to be introducing to Jack and that many of you may not have heard of before. But if you're here, why not get introduced? True. And these videos do work because Ray just told me to my heart, <laughs> like I was, I was, I was cheating that we done obviously <laughs> an episode on Chloe Slater previously and Ray just said that she has been what was the words i non-stop no maybe i've non been non-stop. non-stop listening to chloe like like yesterday i went for a walk and i put her ep on loop and i listened to it the whole time and i was vibing it was so great <laughs> it's because you're coming british you're getting you're getting involved in the culture chloe this is Slayer. how i'm becoming indoctrinated yeah. <laughs> chloe Slayer is your british teacher so yeah they do work and um do you want to fill us in on who this one is about because i am excited i am very excited about this one so this one is about bear and so bear she's an, an american artist she's from minnesota i discovered bear through minnesota in <laughs> when did i discover bear it was like 20 must be must must have been 2022 sorry time is like not real to me it was maybe like november 2022 i think is like a good late 2022 fall 2022 sorry it took me way too long to think about that but and i just started listening to her she had just released like some songs from her second ep halfway and the first song i listened to of hers was super spreader absolutely loved it and it kind of got me in love with her music and i just listened to everything else and then got obsessed her fan community is incredible the people that i've met through her community are great so i just feel super lucky to have discovered her music at this stage and she a little bit about her so she she makes indie pop music which is like very typical for this channel like what else do you expect she grew up in minnesota and she currently lives in minnesota she went to she studied in she lived in the uk for a while she studied she said she studied in leeds and she studied popular music and songwriting and then she stayed in the uk until december of 2020 and then you know had to move back because of the pandemic and everything and you'll see that theme a little bit in her songs in one of her songs especially i think it's i i think that her songs are interesting to the point where like i relate to that a little bit of the like transatlantic lifestyle or whatever um and she has like some of her songs are very acoustic stripped backed you know just her songwriting i think something that i've seen her live a couple times that she really really thrives at is her her vocals like holy cow does she have incredible vocals and she's released three eps the first the first ep was released in 2021 or 2022 actually the first song that she released was in 2021 but then the ep was in 2022 it was called and i'm still thinking about that and then she released another ep in 20 early 2023 called halfway 
And earlier this year, she released another EP called Room For You. So every year she's been releasing some new music and her vibe changes. And it's just kind of her feelings at the time. And I think um, her most recent, she was previously signed with AWOL, but her most recent EP is completely independent. And I think that it's super cool seeing artists thrive um, independently because and I think that's something as music fans that we should be celebrating a lot more than we already do. But with that being said, let's get into the first song. So the first song that I chose is by Bear and Charlie. And this song was like, you might have heard it. It went super, it's her most popular song and it went super, super viral on TikTok. And it probably is how a lot of people know her music. It has, yeah, 86 million listens on tiktok um, so okay. not on tiktok on on spotify so it went viral on tiktok and that's why it has so many listens and it's how i think a lot of people discovered her but she her fan base now like when i go to shows they're singing along to every single song they don't just know her for this one song and i think that's special that she's been able to obviously there's not 86 million people listening to her music still but she's been able to grasp a lot of those people and get them interested in her whole discography. So I thought it was would be like a good place to start for this. Um, it's an acoustic, it's a more acoustic song, which I think Jack is going to like more. So I think it's also good. But just to give you an idea of like how she essentially blew up. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to expect. Like this is an artist that I've held, held, held off of listening to because you have sp- spoken in length about fair and i'm like i'm just like i've, I've been ho- especially recently when we started doing this I've, like i was like okay i'm gonna just hold off for it um but then it was before that it was just something that i never got around to doing so i'm glad i never mm-hmm. got around to do it so i can experience it like now um yeah but yeah i am just kind of excited to hear this how this is gonna sound yeah me too I, well, I know how it's going to sound, but I'm excited to hear your reaction. So let's hey. let's play. It was meant to be. So. When I cook, you do the dishes. This is true. Her voice is compliments so much. So I think it's stunning. It's like her voice like trails, and it creates like this behind his, and it just creates this beautiful effect. And that's just hard to say. It's okay you feel the same, and I can tell. Cause we put so much pressure on ourselves. We were meant to be, just not made to it. We were meant to be just not made to her. Okay, right. Okay. Ah. <laughs> so many thoughts. So this is the one that blew up, right, during lockdown, right? Like uh, yeah, it was t- early 2021, yeah. Okay, so this yeah. is like... I, like lockdown brought us so many so much so much music and like so many new artists and like an art and sort of like an art form and like a specific style and this is like if i was to go like to to styles that i heard a ton of times and like a mm-hmm. style that done really well in lockdown it's like this and i don't know how to explain it other than like it it, it wasn't like done as amazingly like as it was done in lockdown by so many artists like it's they finally figured out a way of making this sort of style work really well and mm-hmm. I tell, when i tell you i have heard so many like like songs with like a really touching um like meaning done mm-hmm. and trying to like simulate this sort of like style where it's like the the layering of the 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 voices and like the Sort of like the tail end it's... voice to like the, like it's sort of mm-hmm. like a, a like it, the, the the back end of the voice trails like to follow the part the front end, like this is done probably the best I've heard it, possibly done. Yeah. Um, and I think like their voices are so well, like matched, right? Like yeah, when they're singing so together, beautiful. it works really well. When they're singing apart and like singing, say like Bear had the the first couple words and then Charlie has the second like couple it like does like it plays off really well after each other the song is like a really like the lyrics um are like really pretty about 
obviously that it's like one of those topics that we hear so much about but it is it's like you sort of just fall into that routine or or like just you kind of just put up with like something that's not working anymore just to like keep up appearances or like to make everybody else happy but you're like sort of not happy in your own way um with it um and it's like yeah i, I think i don't know like what would you say the rest of the tunes are compared to this is this like a sp- style that's like quite so um, fluent throughout or i would say so i've picked song like of the four songs i've picked i would say only one other of them follows this style okay um but i would say so i mean i'll touch on this before we get into those songs i would say majority of bear songs are like acoustic okay, like good. this yeah. kind of vibe um then she has a couple songs that are more heavy on production have a lot of bass in them um and those are some of her other songs and i've picked one of them for this video and then and then she has one or two songs that are a little bit more poppy okay. um so majority of her songs are acoustic but i've tried to pick a variety for the purposes of this video to get give you like the full range of her musical spectrum but i would i would say majority of her songs have this similar like stripped back kind of vibe which is why i said i know you're gonna like it because i know you really like that vibe and like when we were listening to lizzie mcalpine i was like thinking yeah. like yeah, a lot actually, of this reminds yeah. me of bear and like like apple it's pie like reminds me yeah of this year. yeah exactly so like that's why i was like well jack's obviously gonna like bear um uh, <laughs> but <laughs> Spoiler, so. um so the next song is the another one of the acoustic like more stripped back kind of song that's called super spreader it's off of her second ep which is halfway and this song is is a, has a super interesting concept it's essentially about that thing i was talking about about how she used to live in the uk and then she moved back in 2020 with the pandemic and she had lived in the uk for four years you know like it was her life yeah and she felt far away from that and then she was ghosted and so the song is essentially about like dealing with all of that emotion all at once of like leaving the place that you felt was a home for you and then also going through a heartbreak all at once and it's called super spreader it's like her voice is like really paired well to this style like i obviously haven't heard the stuff that we're going to hear or like the more like mm-hmm. popular stuff but like you get these artists that work really well with acoustic and like just everything they do and like are really talented and can and can project their voice in different ways to like fit different different genres and stuff but you get those people that are really talented at like acoustic performances and yeah like, like doing stuff really well like really stripped back and like able to convert that into like different styles themselves but it's um yeah. like this is yeah like this that was like a very like of the era like of the time sounding like collaboration and like track but it was done really well so i want to see like i'm excited to see like the way the progresses throughout like coming out coming out of that style that done really well and um and then but it's seen like a bunch of artists like not do as well afterwards because they were stuck in this style because people wanted to be sad during the pandemic because that's kind of (laughs) what they were like encapsulate like that's they were stuck inside and they were sad and and so that that type of style really worked but then if you yeah. didn't convert properly out of it, then a lot of our artists seem like a down climb, whereas people went from that style so, to acoustic and on. Like so it you can just it kinda of depended how you came out of it. Um Yeah. So it. it is interesting. So on her first EP I would say majority of the songs are more acoustic barring mm-hmm. one, maybe. And then on her second EP halfway, she has a few songs on there, like one three three out of the six songs are like a little bit more like highly produced not acoustic at all and you'll see it's one one of the songs we're going to listen to are one of those three and then on her most recent ep she has one song that is more highly produced and the rest are stripped back more so so it is interesting how she went in that like more overproduced like silly like a little bit like less sad way post pandemic and is now kind of moving a little bit more back to that because i do think it 
suited her better. But yeah, it is it is interesting. But anyway, let's listen to Super Spreader. <laughs> Quite a controversial name of a a, 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 a song Can't after the call of the pandemic. Yeah. Okay. And I've tried testing the waters. My intentions are pure. My friends call me super spreader. And like the sports bar I work at, everybody's been pretty, but the food could be better. And I tried being yours till that. Harsh, but not as harsh as the sound of your voice like the the barks. So good. Yeah. You still ruin my life, even though we don't talk anymore. You still ruin my life, even though we don't talk anymore. Oh, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. I I think there's so much to it, like the the layering of, of the, mm -hmm. the like the the vocals, and it even goes onto like the layering of the sort of like background sounds. Like it gets really busy, um, production wise yeah. at the bridge, which we've seen and we commented a lot on, um, during Lizzie's like older um thing where it gets like super busy when there's like a lot of things going on. Yeah, but, like in this case, like. Just reading through lyrics, like, and I know you're not happy with yourselves. No, we don't talk, but you still ruin my life. So it's like, it's not when it sort of maybe gets more aggressive, but it's like, I guess it is, right? Because it's like, but yours is the last face that I want to see when my lips touch somebody else's, and I know it's, it's, it, I know that it's fucking with my health. So it kind of is, it's not necessarily getting more aggressive, but the, the tone is changing and shifting. Yeah, you and can hear it. The yeah. production shifts with it, and then it cuts back to the, Dun, 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 like the guitar it's it really and it but it also like the the production choices from the bridge continue onto the chorus and then obviously like slowly layer out and then it ends, it's so perfect yeah and but minnesota, but minnesota has seasons like straight cut perfect yeah it's yeah i i really like like the sound of it um yeah this and is, you can like going back to what you said before the song like you can hear the adjustment it's still an acoustic sad yeah, song yeah. but the adjustment in the production has like changed so that it still hooks people in and i think like she's done a good job of, of doing that the only time it's kind of produced heavier is it is during the bridge right and and that's like a very crucial production choice because you're you're showing the emotions with it to like explore mm -hmm. the story like you're going along with the story keeping this like acoustic and like really slow um and like really quite open um like sound right and then you're coming in it gets like it all closes up and the production gets higher so it's like you're kind of yeah increasing the tension a bit for a, for the bridge which you should like the lyrics portray that and then you come out of it and then you go straight back into the into the like the strumming of the guitar and the lyrics there is not like the the sound sorry like the sonically um is is genuinely really strong like it's i can't sing to save my life but i've heard yeah. people that can't sing and, and bear is not one of them bear can sing um and it, yeah like it, it really i really like this one i think i like this more than the first one i quite like i, I would agree obvious, with that but i yeah. think i like it like a lot more than the first one so i'm really excited to yeah. see what's next oh my god okay this is so fun i love doing this one. yeah okay so what's next is kind of a big shift and i this is why like i 
I think that there's other songs that I could recommend to you that are like more similar to this. And I think that when I picked this song for the video, I, I already knew it was going to be the one that you liked the most. Um, okay. But I also didn't want to pick four songs that were just similar <laughs> to this because then what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> I The next song, so I, I alluded to this before, but obviously like her second EP, she had three of six songs that were a lot more upbeat, have a completely different sound. And, and, and this is one of those three songs. It's called Boys Who Kiss You In Their Car. And it is about the boys who kiss you in their car. It's really very straightforward. Um, and it's it's uh, like you can hear like heavy bass in the song. It's, it's a very fun song. It is not acoustic, okay. but I'm interested to hear what you think about it. And it's a sound that she had on her second EP, not so much on her third EP, but we'll be listening to a song from there. That's the last song. So I don't know. That, should we listen to it? Yeah, I've got the, the lyrics up. The chorus is like, she's just describing me um <laughs> <laughs> okay well yeah let's um let's just play it <laughs> wow bear come on man no, I'm just gonna... okay, let's go. oh the aesthetic for the music video is fun Dude. sonically intricate like yeah so right so isn't it it like with songs you're expecting like a like a or like a what do you call it like an eight what like a bar right like a like fucking what do you call it a 16 i don't know fucking I don't yeah know what words is and, and, and lyrics and stuff but like you're expecting like a certain like pacing with it I mean, this was just yeah. like but it went really like it was not out of like not it was purposely out of the the rhythm of the beat yeah because it fits the beat the beat and the rhythm fits along with the rest of the song but this is like so like it's like oh no it, it throws me off so well, like much but it works really well in this type it, of like it, style yeah you're right like it's not traditional but like it definitely works super super well and it just like i don't know it takes you back and it like it's like oh yeah we're not just jamming out. There's a shitty guy we're talking about. Yeah, it's like she's like, yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck the music too. And I need to just spell some tea. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so this is like very. Um, I'm trying to. I always try and like style, like match it to someone who I listen to style. Um, yeah. But I, there is people out there, but I, I'm really bad at it. The thing is, like, I set up and I'm like, okay, I'm going to match it. And I'm like, oh, wait, I can't think of anybody I listen to that does this. <laughs> there is people I listen to that do this. Um, but mm-hmm. it's like, just that's just for me a way of describing how, like. Yeah, but it's something not, sounds. Like, Makes me. sense. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, the, from the start, like the 5, 6, 7, 8, um, with like the reverb on it was really cool. Um, mm-hmm. 1975, boo honestly last fa- favorite least favorite track due to that no i'm just kidding um like it's it's a really interesting concept like it, it, it again it's like such a specific topic um to mm-hmm. make a song on but it's like a one of those it's like kate's brother it's just, in a sense but it's like fun it's just like a it, like it's makes, just super fun yeah. yeah like there's no like proper like reason to like talk about it in terms of what any other reason than just to make like a fun track yeah i don't know the sound so it, especially coming from previously like the two more acoustically like 
strong yeah. tracks um to come into this with mm-hmm. a completely different style and like the amount that was going on here um in terms of like the the speed like the, the tempo the the choices with the um like the ad libs were fun and um, the worst the worst is when mm-hmm. they start talking about their band it's just a shitty little boy band and then it goes so and, fun <laughs> and then it goes to you still don't want to hear that you still don't want to hear them ask to lean your seat back i know i still don't want to hear about your sh- your band you should have just kissed me like that's fun um it's just one of those tracks and it's like i don't know i think the style is done really well and it fits really the um like the the instruments used are like really a good choice for it is but no yeah that that outro really threw me off like we're gonna go the bridge the bridge slowed it down i can't even remember where we were in the song now but it went from like really fast to slow and then it went back into the chorus and then it went to the outro which was like again we were talking about and we paused it before we realized that was the end of the song um that it just it doesn't sound like it should be there but it also stops you and be like okay well this actually is an interesting choice like it's the it's off te- it's off tempo like the the beat continues to go along at the same pace whereas like bear stops yeah. like doesn't stick with the same like rhyming scheme and doesn't stick with the same like like same amount of syllables per like sentence word mm-hmm. type thing um and no it's really yeah i think that that choice really if they were looking for something in the song to be like holy okay wait what <laughs> and then like take it back and appreciate it more than they've done that they've done that really well there um and yeah it's mm-hmm. a very really fun song at I don't know where I'm going to position it because it's like so different, but it's also it is so different. I don't and like it's like I like I did like it. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, she does have some other songs on this EP that are similar, like "Your Internet Sucks" and "Slot Phase." I would say are are similar. Okay. And this next song is a little bit more poppy. It's very poppy. I would say it's like "Song of the Summer" vibes. It is from her newest EP, Room For You, which I would say majority of the songs on that EP are acoustic style, maybe similar to the first two songs that we listened to, but this song isn't that. It is poppy, and she does have some songs on her entire discography with this kind of similar sound, um, but it's my favorite song on that EP, and I am, we already had three songs, so I had to pick one from that EP, and so obviously I was going to pick my favorite, um, oh, and also a sound oh. that we haven't heard before. Okay. It's just, it's literally just a vibe song. It's song of the summer, hang out with your friends, have the best time kind of song. And so considering me and Jack are going to be hanging out a lot this summer, it's very like, definitely. We're gonna, are we going to be listening to whatever forever? <laughs> Probably. Probably. I will yeah. force us to do. <laughs> Actually. Chloe, Slayer, okay. and Bear, what an amazing summer that is. Imagine. Anyway. Let's play. Hey guys, come on the podcast, both of you at the same time. line delivery that's blown away this whole like lesson through yeah isn't it yeah was so interesting because it sounded like it was out of the room and then it, mm-hmm. it was so it was like the rest of the song was like 
produced and like on the mic and stuff and then it's like this was like recorded like and cut together yeah. like it was like then taking you back out of there and that was really interesting um I love that. I actually like I literally noticed that when I listened to the song, but it's part of like what I feel like makes makes it good. Like I don't know. What track is this? Oh, it's the middle one. I yeah. Say, I wonder if that was like a, a re- like if there was a reason that that was like if that came at the end of the album or something at the EP. Um. Okay. This is like again you've showed me like all different, not different genres because it's been like probably been like indie pop. Yeah. Indie pop. Indie rock indie pop but mm-hmm. it's um yeah no this one's probably like the most interesting one like coming from the two previous that well one of them was obviously like really stripped back the other one was um like i'd say stripped back but um like, it was still more way. produced yeah and then this was like the last one was fully produced this one is produced as well um but it's more because you're going from that indie rock to the the pop style it, um has a different like sort of undertone to it and i'm really interested to like probably go on and listen to more of this ep um just to like hear what the rest of the ep sounds like because this is a really good sound it's like a really current sound like is it when did this come out 2024 yeah yeah so like, it's a really yeah. like current like and mm-hmm. that's good to hear like it's, i mean it's like that's what you want it to sound like right um and it's yeah, I I think like I didn't take a much to step to the lyrics this time because I was too busy just dancing, um. But <laughs> it was don't, don't watch my POV. It was really bad, um. But I you're the editor, so I don't get to watch any yeah, POV gonna, that you don't. I'm just gonna bl- bl- I'm just gonna blank it. I'm just gonna put a black screen over my whole thing. No, um, <laughs> no, yeah, it was really. I, I don't really know where I put this. I I think like. I don't have as much to say about this one because I genuinely wasn't reading into lyrics as much, and that's so that's that's really my bad. But I, think I mean, it was... the lyrics are relatively surface level. I think the idea is just like it's just a summer song, and I yeah. like it's super super interesting, and I think. I don't know. I feel like the like the sound of it is interesting. The way that it's produced, I think everything feels super intentional, and that's why I like it so much. Even though like it's kind of like a song that's super low key, like it doesn't have that much deep meaning. Like the production still feels super intentional, and I love that about it. Well, the, the production, as crazy as the sounds, it sounds like the production gives off the feeling of like sunshine that sounds so stupid sunshine like sun. yeah exactly and i don't know how and else to describe it but it, it's like really like quite cheery it's like upbeat but it also has this mm-hmm. like i can also it almost feels like it has this like glow off of it like a glow, i don't know how, this sounds so insane but like I, I, I feel like when i'm listening to the song and especially with the the idea going into it of like what it's meant to sound mm-hmm. like it does give off of like a like I could see it being like a sun and like it happy and cheery and like that's obviously what it's meant to do but it's like because it's so upbeat and because it's like as you said there maybe isn't as much in the lyrics as this one but it is like yeah. that's you get those songs like these type of songs aren't really lyrically heavy usually anyway um, and yeah. it's like just like the beat and the, the vibes you're giving off and it's done a really good job at giving off those vibes um and like the delivery of the lines um through the the chorus through like ending on like forever a couple of times and then together and then back to forever forever and obviously it's so interesting because it ends every single lines on this ends on like the air sound so it goes from forever uh, in the chorus it goes from forever to forever to together to forever 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 together forever forever so it's like you don't really see that very often like you don't see the same word used to finish off Mm -hmm. like the same line like this like the next line very often but it also creates this like sense of um like repetition and it's like you could this could be classed as a summer song as well because you're repeating all the things you do throughout the summer pretty much right Um, and it's also the whole leaning into the fact of like do whatever forever so you're playing on the repetition of it because you're saying forever so much times um yeah no i I think really like this the delivery of the lines from like 
that that vary throughout the 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 song are like really interesting because it goes from like a really just like simple delivery of like or or just singing it or it, it's like got that really nice like um finish to it or it like cuts like short it's like yeah there's just so much to it like i think there's more with each song there is so much you can go into production choice wise and like just bears choices like of why yeah. the song stands out above the competition and yeah i mean yeah that was like i think i don't know obviously what the rest of the discography sounds like but that was a four that was four good songs to pick from and like i'm glad i did a good job i mean i don't think there's many or any bad songs that i could have picked but i i'm glad that i i let you like the songs that i picked because i was honestly worried that you weren't gonna like boys who kiss you in their car i was like yeah jack's not gonna like this but i have to i have to show him this song because it is part of her discography you know no it it gave me like i don't know who's like vibes it would give me as like but i do like songs like i like i listened to a lot of bb doobie like old stuff like yeah yeah and stuff and that it's very similar vibes like it's um and i I, like yeah i i I am looking for more music like that anyway so there you go i need it came at the right time that's good um so everybody's waiting for it we need a ranking of the songs and a rating of the artist just based on these four songs obviously you'll listen to more like i did with chloe (laughs) yeah you're gonna be listening to on repeat i'm so excited that you do that and it might be the same for me. Maybe we'll find out in the next lesson if I've just been having bear on repeat. Um, so if I was to go for... Oh, okay, right. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm going to go super spread or far. Or wait, we'll, mm-hmm. go, we'll, we'll go four to first. So meant to be fourth. Okay, wow. Well. I think just because it doesn't... Because it, it reminds me of a time like lockdown where like this was like a lot of the lyric the music i was listening to in this style yeah um and um but it's not anymore yeah yeah but it's like i still listen to this type of music but it's um like i'm trying to currently right now trying to rebrand from sad (laughs) songs um it's not working very well but um and then oh that's, okay right maybe i'd do i'd maybe do whatever forever next so third okay yeah and then i'd do uh boys who kiss you in the in their car second mm-hmm. and then super wow. spread, super spreader first yeah okay i would say that i agree with this ranking i would maybe put whatever forever second and um, but otherwise, I'd probably completely agree. Would you put boys um, third then, yeah? Third, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just swap them around. Uh, yeah. Interesting. But I, yeah, I, I think out of like listening again, um, and out of the track shown, um, if if we're talking about one being like the lowest, what five being the highest, probably. Yeah. probably like a i don't know i'm really intrigued to like go listen to this ep so i think like yeah but i feel like you have to do it based on what i showed you yeah, okay, and like right, okay. like i well, think that i things, yeah but i also think that i like with chloe like i needed her some of her songs to grow on me like i've ranked thomas street last for example and i don't <sighs> think i would do that anymore That's so sad uh uh-huh. i'm just kidding um, okay, well, so, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I do actually believe it. I think, I, I just because I don't really know where to, because we're not done a lot, so we don't really know where to put people. But I think, like, yeah. I don't want to give away any fours to fives unless it's like, no, I don't Super know though, because I think like, honestly, I, I don't know if I have any artists. Five. Yeah. So like, me, I'd probably say like. I think I'd probably say like a three point six in terms of like real re like because I know I'm going to go listen to the EP after this, and I know I'm going to yeah. go listen to the other stuff and the stuff that you showed me I really enjoyed and like I know that um like probably at least three of the songs will be added to my like songs and played um from this point on, and then mm-hmm. obviously depending on like how I find the rest of the EP then that obviously could grow or like um could stick with those three. I'm well. excited. 
I'm I, excited to hear your thoughts. I'll be there to attend the next concert or the next whatever. I'll be there too, so, you know. <laughs> I'll be bare, 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 damn it. It's sad because she literally played in Glasgow, mm. um, like, a couple weeks ago, so. So you didn't do this soon enough. I know. Sad. Next anyway. Time, next time. Uh, if, if you um, are listening along for the first time as well, uh, let us know your thoughts and opinions and, and if Ray picked, if you, if you know uh, Bear's music um, and yeah. you give us an opinion on how Ray Dunn would pick and choices. And if you are Bear, come on the podcast. I like, yeah, I, or just say I hope that I did a good job. You can bully us in the comments, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Um, yeah, I hope you guys tune in. We'll be back next week as always, or maybe not because you never know what could happen in our lives. Um, but we'll we'll probably be back next week. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to check out the socials, the Discord, all the things in the comments as always. I mean, in the description. Yes, that that is what it's called. And go check out Bear socials. and Yeah, go out. check out Bear. Spotify, listen to Bear if you haven't already. We highly recommend. Okay, goodbye. Bye.